Hello and welcome before you buy in this week's episode we're going to take a look at AMT's 1960 Chevrolet custom fleet sign 125th scale and does include the pickup truck and go-kart as seen on the cover very nice cover art here and on this side we get another look at the truck and cart mentioning the cart racks that do come with it to carry the cart and a great look at the colorful decal sheet that comes in this kit here on the end card, same as the top, but we get our AMT part number of 1063M. On the feature side, this kit features a six-cylinder engine, chrome grill and hood parts, stock hubcaps, that nice interior, and again that go-kart. On the bottom with round two, we get a nice silhouette of the parts included in your kit. And again, our part number, 1063M, but we also get our production date of 9-1-2021. So to mention that 2021 release, there was also a 2018 release with the same box art on it. But from what I've seen, there's a small variation in the decals. So make sure you're getting the right production date for anything according to the decals that you might be interested in. And one more thing to mention... AMT did have an annual of a 1960s Chevrolet pickup, but these two kits are completely different from the annuals to this one. This tooling started in 1998, so it is kind of a high detail, totally new tooling opposed from the annuals and totally different trucks. The annuals being a long bed, a big window cab, and a V8 truck, and obviously you'd have the difference. Straight six cylinder, small window cab, and a short bed, no side trim down the side. So I just want to make that clear that this is a complete variation different from the annual kits. But with that, let's take a look inside. And right off the top, we've got the, the chrome tree trees laid out there. We've got our clears. Looks like we've got our, some go-kart parts there. Another bag of parts. Lots of parts in this one. Again, nice high detail kit. One bag of tires. There's the cab and bed. One larger bag of paint. Our decals, our instructions. And as always, I'll get these unbagged and we'll get a closer look. There was a quick peek at the instructions. Nice small instruction sheet. We've got a color key here. We've got a special notes key there inside pretty standard affair to start off with the engine wheels and tires we do get a stock colors list even for the two-tone exterior and layout if you'd like to go that way then kind of chassis assembly interior assembly and then into engine bay cab very nice looking kit. There's the truck instructions. And then there's a go-kart instructions, which is just a single little slip here. Nothing on the back, all in one shot. Make sure to read the important note. Follow the numbers in sequence to assemble your cart using the arrows for locations. So there's the go-kart. Getting into the parts. Start here. This one's got a few engine pieces. Looks like we got some like oil filter lids. This is our generator, maybe a carburetor there. We've got intake and exhaust manifolds. Our seat here, which has some beautiful like canvas type texturing done to it. Very nice piece. Well done with that. A little more. We got a single tree with a single part for the steering wheel. We do have. Our door cards here with those nice vents, window cranks, door handle. Pretty basic interior, but nicely done. There is part of our bed. Looks like the front end of the bed. Right here we have... There's our go-kart racks. Looks like go-kart seat and seat belts. This must be the go-kart tires. And there's the frame for the go-kart, kind of a, a single little chassis piece, which is nice to build from. Next up, we've got our wheel backs and wheel inserts, our front spindles and coil springs. Do have a single exhaust piece for that straight six, one pipe single muffler. 
Here is a chassis, a nice separate frame, well detailed. Again, total separation from the screw bottom kit. Very nice piece there. This tree has, says a two piece hood in this kit. I guess to get more definition on that complex hood. These are for the dash. Like we've got a like a heater core or something there, heater hoses, steering column, and a steering member. Here we have kind of the cab floor, very nice textured rubber mat in there with the accelerator pedal, and there's the underside floor pan detail. Here we've got the kind of the front radiator support or grill surround sheet metal. There we have the bed cap ends. Here is our tailgate. Very nice Chevrolet embossing there. Even has it on the inside of the bed. Well done there. This tree has the other half of our hood. You can see it's kind of split at that body line. We do have some hood hinges, well detailed if you want to display the hood up. A good looking rear axle assembly, trailing arms, shock absorbers, uh, front A arms. Even has a spare tire. Notice that it has the lugs open because it is not bolted to anything. Here we have the engine tree. Nice look at that straight six. Looks like a manual transmission. Nicely detailed oil pan, belts, radiator, radiator fan, horn, battery, starter, maybe a coil, or front cover, valve cover, distributor. Looks like a radiator support. Another part of the radiator support there. There is a Nicely detailed firewall, some radiator hoses, not sure what that is, maybe a fuel pump, looks like we've got a road draft tube there, there's a look at the rest of the dash, there you can see the kind of the brows that mount on that we've seen earlier, very well detailed, let's see if we can get a zoom in on that, looks like it has a radio delete in there. Very nice detail nonetheless. Here we've got the last kind of parts tree as far as the opaque. This kit does have a separate uh, roof cab topper there. So you can kind of a two-tone easily. There's some steering linkage. There's a lower A-arms and torsion bar assembly. Nice piece there. And to the kit itself, we've got the, the bed. There it is. Bed sides and floor all in one piece. Keeps it nice and square for you. You can see the wood grain texture and the stripping to hold it down. Nice detail again. Even has some stake pockets done for you. Really nice piece. You can get the wood grain underneath. That's showing up for you. Nice bracing. Very well detailed kit. And here is the cab. You can see it's missing its Kind of top cap, but it is all there. You get the, the Apache 10 Chevrolet badging on the fender. Very nice trim work on the back of the cab. Door handles under the hood. Again, the other side the same. We'll have to put that separate cab piece in and the roof piece. And now on to some chrome. This looks like it's all go-kart stuff. A little roll bar there. Get some knockoffs for the wheels. Some Nerf bars. Like a steering column shroud. You got a chain there. Or two chains. There is a part there. There's an engine. And another engine over here. This is a twin engine car. We got a helmet, steering wheel. Uh, maybe a brake piece there and our wheels to match with those plastic 
tires. Nice little go-kart you can assemble. And for the truck chrome, we get a look at those kind of stock wheel setup pieces. Kind of a, a wheel cover, wheel in one. Look at those marker lights for the hood insert. A little rear view mirror, side mirrors. A separate Chevy emblem, which is a nice piece. Good looking bumpers with the rivet detail. And last but not least is our grill and headlight feature. To go in the headlights, here are the clears. It does have some nice clear inserts. That small back window, a nice windshield, very positive mounting locations. Even has the visors in there for you we got four tires for your pickup they feature a dual-sided pad printing nice thin white wall there a little larger white wall on the other side kind of like a half inch versus a one inch type setup so you can kind of choose your style and last but not least in the box is our decals which features keith super service some wrenches, a little go-kart action, go-kart zigzag racing, espresso racing team, go-kart mart, some like contingencies, California custom decal. These must be for the go-kart. You can number it. Different license plates. You get some California, Michigan, and a 1960. Some other small, nice decals. Daddy-O. Nice Chevrolet inserts for the tailgate, so you don't have to paint that. You can just lay some inserts in. Same with the emblems. And even a gauge cluster. A couple of them there if you want to use. Some hands and feet. Again, there is a small variation between the 2018 and 2021 release. But that should do it for the parts. Oh, I missed uh, the reds. It does come with red taillights for you to use. Has that nice serration in there. But with that, we'll leave pictures at the end. And thanks for watching.